Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Liverpool and I've got to say, good to see Pierce O'Leary up here in uh, Liverpool. You've made the change now. But first and foremost, how's things, mate? I'm good, mate. Yeah, it's been a long time since I haven't seen you. Um, I haven't done an interview in a long time as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything's going good. I'm in Liverpool now, as you can see, trying hard. Everything's going well. I said, obviously, you made the change from London with uh, Al Smith. You came up here to Joe McNally and, and Deck. I tell you what, the gym right now seems to be the busiest gym in the UK right now. So was this a no-brainer for you to make that transition up to Liverpool? Um, as I mean, it's a no-brainer. Like, it was a great move for me, I thought. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's closer to home as well, so it's a lot easier. Like From door to door, you now 15 minutes, so I can't complain. Um, and like London's totally different. Like, it was great living in London and this and that, but... You're living in London and you're from Dublin, so you're living in the two most major cities in the world, you know what I mean, which is mostly where there's a um, housing crisis, so listen, I just think it's best for me if I live up here, we're so close to home, it's like Dublin, and it feels like home. Obviously, I just watched you do a couple of rounds, a little move around with Frankie Stringer, now you've had a good fight last time, now a good sort of 10 rounds under your belt, you had a cut in your eye as well, I believe, so you went through that little bit of adversity in a good fight. What's next for you then, the, the Pierce? I mean, like I said to you, you've got some good sparring in this gym, but in terms of fight news and fight, what, what's next for you? Well, this is, a, this is the big question that I asked uh, my manager and going, going forward. Um, we're back out the 10th of Feb, so we want to get that lock, well, that's locked in there. Anyway, so the opponents waiting to be confirmed. Um, we got sent over a good couple of opponents. Anyway. But yeah, after this fight, then we want to see you sit down properly, have a good meeting, and then with Joe and see what the roadmap is now going forward. You mentioned Joe there, Joe McNally. Now, what's he like as, as a coach now? I've got my pro license and I've got a couple of fighters that I'm turning pro uh, hopefully April, May time. So I like to look at trainers and see what they do in the corner and watch study Joe rather than study the fighter. And what I see from Joe, I see like a, a, a technician, a teacher, a guy that knows the sport inside and out, an encyclopedia of boxing. Is that is that how you see Joe? First and foremost, congratulations. Thanks very much. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, listen, that's exactly what I see in Joe, you know what I mean? Um, even when I'm on the pads of deck, small adjustments with my feet. Um, it's just, just the small things that you wouldn't actually think of when you're actually in a fight, you know. And then when you're bringing that into sparring now, because we we've got six rounds today with uh, me and Frankie, and that's all we're working on from the past week, what we're doing in, on, on the pads. Just drifting around, uh, walking on the feet, touching up close and stuff like that, and taking it from there, replicating it now. So when we're in the fight, it's just going to come naturally. I think you mentioned sparring Frankie String in there. I just heard Josh say like uh, he's back sparring, and I'm pretty sure he mentioned your name Monday sparring. What would you? We had a couple of rounds sparring with Josh. Yeah, I think uh, Monday might be the day. I think Monday's the day. I think Monday's the day. Um, well, I hope so because we didn't like the opponent that will, that might be confirmed is a southpaw. So I think um, get some rounds with him, and then another guy um, who'll stay. who will stay. Still have Swift, yeah, yeah, so just wait to see what the story is, but yeah, the great Spartan um, former world champion, I mean, Josh, like, he's been around, he knows he knows the game, and this is why not, it, it's a great experience for me. Like I say, you, you're in a gym right now where, where guys like Beefy Smith and Cal Smith, I'm sure he trained up here with Buddy McGurk, you've got Liam Smith, who's probably former world champion, great fights with Chris Eubank Jr. You've got a former undisputed champion there in, in jo Josh Taylor. You've got Shannon Courtney, who's a former world champion. You've got guys coming through like Frankie Stringer and Dennis McCann. I mean, the gym right now is uh, JJ McCat. I can't forget JJ as well. He's a, he's a great fighter as well. He's down there, yeah. So you've got right now a stable, which has got guys at the top of the game that's been there and done it. The guys coming through wishing to get to the top like them. So what's it like with all these different fighters in here and the sort of camaraderie that you've all got? Well, looking back, um, going back, like, if, if I was still an amateur looking back at this situation that I'm in now, I'd be I'm starstruck, you know, but I'm kind of involved in this now at the moment and it just feels so normal. It feels like I'm, I'm in the right place at the right time. I'm working hard and like there before Callum went off the Canada, we were out running together 
like he's a world champion. Do you know what I mean? Like from world champion, he's been around. He's ex tons of experience. Same with Beefy. Beefy pops in the gym every now and again. JJ Metcalf full of experience. Obviously you have Josh as well. And then fighting Theo and stuff like that. And listen, that like that's experience that you can't buy. Do you know what I mean? And being surrounded by that and inspired and learning and stuff like that, all of those guys, it's you know, you're just gonna benefit from it. And, at the moment now, I'm just great and I'm just happy and I'm, for me, wake up every morning and just keep putting the graft in. You know, 140 pounder, that's, that's super lightweight, light weight, whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a solid division with guys like Devin Haney, he's still there. I don't think Josh is hanging around 140 though, but you've got still got guys like Jack Catterall, Devin Haney, Regis Progre, uh, Mateus as well. I mean, right now the division is red hot Ryan Garcia, I don't know if he's hanging about here. So, how far are you? I know you're probably what, what was your record now? 12 and 0? 13 and 0? So, you're, you're, you're getting to the point now where you're looking for these fringe world level fighters to stake, step into that top top range. So, how far are you off from these guys? Well, this is it. I mean, next opponent and now, I just went to be a friend. There's one of those. So, um, we just need to keep on pushing forward, you know what I mean? And keep climbing those big fights, get, chasing those big fights, but each, each step. The, the right pound is like it needs to be the right pound at the right time, and I think um, that's what we're going to work on. I think Joe, Joe is very good at that. Joe and Dick, Joe and they, they know what they're on about. So listen, if, if they offer that fight tomorrow, I die for it. Do you know what I mean? But they would like, nah, just just hold on a little bit. Um, they want momentum to get off as a team, so which makes a lot of sense to me now. Definitely, and like I say, they're, they're very very knowledgeable. Dick and Joe. One final one for me, obviously. You want to make a statement being that you were a new training team and, and, and whatnot, and you mentioned getting to that top level or that fringe world level very, very shortly. So come February 10th, I believe it is, what's going to happen? I'm just going to put the pressure on, look for the knockout. That's it. I feel like I'm back to me, not back to me outside, but I feel like we're all, I'm at my style again where I'm good, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just coming for the knockout, push forward, um, hunt them down, and uh, as soon as I see blood, go up the kill. Listen, music to my ears when you say look for the knocker. That's what I love, Pierce. And now, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, man. Thanks, Pierce. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now.